Welcome to another Simply Vegan. <laughs> another Simply Vigo and I'm really glad that you are here. Today we'll be preparing lentil patties. For the ingredients we'll be using lentil, a whole pack. This is about 500 grams, right? A little salt, cayenne pepper, all-purpose seasoning, oats, Kellyon and about three stalks of the celery. Before I cook my lentil, I usually soak my lentil for a few hours, sometime overnight. And um, this is what I got from this small pocket here. It's up to you if you want to soak your lentil, but for me, I choose to soak my lentil because as you can see, it's a whole lot compared to what is in the bag. Right, so you'll get more out of the lentil if you soak it because it will absorb water so you get more um, lentil from what you have soaked so what I'm gonna do now is just add some water to this I already strained off the, the water before right so I'm gonna add some fresh water to this and then put it on the fire and cook our lentil okay so I'm gonna put on the peas on the fire with the stove Pouring hot water in this to speed up the process. You're not going to add any salt, you're just going to cover the pot and leave it to cook. Okay, at this time, we're going to check to see if the lentil is ready. This type of lentil don't need more than five minutes to cook. Once you soak it, you don't need a lot of time. Okay, all well, the lentil is now ready. At this time, I am going to strain, strain off all the water. and then I put it into a bigger bowl the thing is you're not going to throw away this um, water from the lentil that was boiling you're going to let it stay the side because you may need it to use because you're going to add some oats to this some dry oats so you may need that extra fluid okay so what i'm going to do now i am going to blend my celery and um, scallion at this time i am going to cut up the celery Cut them to small pieces and blend them. Okay, so I'm going to put them into a blender with about 150 ml water. Blend. 
this into the lentil. Spoon for now, chili powder or cayenne. We we'll want teaspoon to get a little hotness. We're gonna store all the ingredients together. Gonna do you're gonna taste it to ensure that the flavor is right it has enough seasoning and salt as well might need just a little more salt at this time I will add our oats there's not a set amount of oats that you should add. You're just gonna ensure when you add the oats to the the butter. You just want to make sure you don't add too much at a time. You're gonna take your time and add accordingly. Because the main thing is for the the oats absorb the, the excess fluid. I'm going to add some more because that is not ready. Still have plenty more fluids to go. Yeah, so the oats is also used as a binder because remember I'm not going to put any flour in this. So the oats will help to absorb the excess fluid that I pour in the lentil a while ago and also to help to bind the lentil together so frying would be easy okay so what you're going to do at this time is just leave this for a few minutes as you can see the steam coming from it so it's extremely hot so you're going to let it soak all the ingredients combined together and um, the oats is going to absorb the excess fluid as I told you earlier so by the time we are ready for this we can just do like this and spoon it up and we are good to go to fry okay so I just leave it at this time to cool at this time our mixture is ready cool and as you can see the oats has done its job absorb enough the excess fluid that was inside the lentil so it's time for us to um, make our patties okay so if this is too Thick. what you do you just add a little water this even the same broth that you used to um that you got from the, the lentil or the string from the lentil you could use to to add to this so it could have a little nice um you know consistency like this okay so it's time for us to get into the frying okay so we're gonna let our stove the oil
Okay, so what you do first before you start frying, you would get some flour and put it to a plate. I'm using whole wheat flour today. You can use any flour of your choice. Just a small amount. Okay, then, first thing you do, you just take up a little flour in your hand, in your left hand, if you are right-handed. A spoonful of the butter, lentil butter. Take up a little more flour and do like this. It's basically like your, ba your base in your chicken, like when you french frying chicken. So you just do it like this. Put that aside. And you, you can just form it whatever size you want, if you want them to be big or small. Um, this is a bit messy, but the end result, you'll be happy. Okay, so what you do now, you just form them, right? So you just give it a little tap, just like you're forming dumplings, but it's just a little small tap until they reach that nice shape that you want it. Have to be gentle when you put things into the pot. The oil, the oil is you're gonna start turning. You would fry this on. On high, this is more like a deep fry. You want to ensure that the oil is extremely hot because um, you don't want. Once the oil is cold, the lentil is going to start separating itself from the oats, and you have a whole lot of mess in the pot, and you don't want that. Okay, this one is ready, so I just put it to the side for extra drainage. And it's also soaking because it's close to the heat. Okay, at this time we're gonna get a few hand towels. Spread it in the container. are ready. You just place them on top of the on towel for extra drainage. You want to always ensure that you get rid of excess oil. Okay, so this is the last set. I will just remove what is here from the oil and serve. Look at this. So this is the finished product of our lentil patties. Um, I still have some more mixtures as um that is left. So what I do, I just put it in the ziplock bag. And I'm going to put this in the freezer so whenever I'm ready, I will just tie it out and use again. At this time, I'm going to show you one way that you could eat your lentil patties. And that is, I'm going to search for a big one. Okay. Oh, this one is Okay. You put on your bread like this, already toast the bread. slices your cucumber then you pour your ketchup then 
your lettuce. Look at that. Just like Burger King and McDonald's. They will be jealous when they see this. Look at that. Competition with McDonald's and Burger King. It's time for us to taste this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Really good. Oh my. this guys so guys this is another way that you could serve your lentil patties I have some corn here and jerk sauce and your lentil patty enjoy